guys, this is only an overview. If you are really interested on this topic, go check out my other courses here. Uh, they are about essentially ma mass and energy balances. In thermodynamics, we need it only to know that it exists and of course, because it's the scope of thermodynamics, but actually you are not going to see that much on heat of reaction. And mainly because I think thermodynamics is more into mechanical engineering rather than chemical and engineering and reactions, well, that means moles and chemistry, which is not that common in many thermodynamic processes, for example, in generation, heat, re heat energy or electricity generation, refrigeration, all those don't have chemical reaction processes. Uh, where do you have heat reactions? Well, you have them in reactors, you have them also in, I don't know, mass transfer, sometimes they react, and some sort of processes, so for example, in a burner, in a oven, etc. These are typical reactions. And what we want to do here is essentially calculate the heat, and you know that what do we mean with heat is essentially the enthalpy of reaction, which is essentially the H. I love to do this, even though it's not formal definition, but it's enthalpy of reaction. And once again, it's the enthalpy change. So once again, we're talking about change that occurs in a system when a one mole of a substance or species is transformed by a chemical reaction in standard conditions, so this is very important because if you change conditions, you change temperature, you're going to change number. So we're talking about a standard reaction and then we, of course you can compare with them and you're going to find out more tricks on how to compare them and account for each of them. But right now, just get the idea that heat of reaction is the enthalpy change involved at a certain temperature by one reaction. Important to Note that it is only based on one species, so if you say 100 kilojoules on species A and you may even say 50 kilojoules on species B because then you will see that the stoichiometric ratios is 1 to 2 or so on so even though you change the number, you're changing the species as well. And of course this is where we will see if the reaction is either exothermic or endothermic. This is very powerful because it's, if I see you have delta H positive and a delta H negative, well, you can see if the reaction is exothermic or endothermic. How do I know that? Well, because the change in energy will be essentially that of the products minus that of the reactants. So you have more energy in the products. It means that the system absorbs energy from the surroundings. And you have a negative value means that the reactants actually lost to the products when you compare them. And uh, yeah, essentially that, that's everything guys. If you want to check out more problems, I'm going to post some of them in the end of block. But this is not typical for thermodynamics once again guys. I will add them just in case you were curious or you are uh, used to, but keep in mind that this is typically for an energy balance course. So if you are very interested in, that, in this topic, go check out the energy balance course here. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. 
Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.